Hey there, this is Scott with Showing Austin. I'm going to show you a new tool that I'm starting to use for clients for my real estate jobs. It does an excellent job in virtual staging, as good as anything else out there, often for a lot less expensive with no subscription required. Let me show you about goedit.app. What I've done here, I actually took a recent shoot where a client wanted me to go ahead and stage a bunch of rooms. Here is a breakfast nook part of the kitchen here slash dining area right there. I also took this huge great room living room and made these pictures in the master addition to the great room here. I made these couple of pictures here in the primary bedroom. Let me show you just how easy it is to do this. I had an investor and go at it. It is not my app completely. I did not develop it, but helped consult with this to bring real life needs of real estate photographers and realtors and property managers to be able to do these things quickly and less expensive than you can otherwise. And most importantly, without a subscription. So the companies out there, there's a lot of virtual staging companies, apps, et cetera, that usually charge a subscription for $20 or more a month and use it or lose it. You'd be lucky to find one that does rollovers. In this case, it's really a use it as you need it. So once you open up your editor and go at it, you want to check your settings. The reason being the settings are the most important thing to get started because this is going to be all of your default settings when you have the editor in auto mode. So showing you here the settings, the HDR effect, I would always leave it disabled until you're ready, if and when you're ready to actually do HDR edits. If you're going to do staging, which we're going to highlight here, here are your exterior settings and your interior settings that will affect that. So for the exterior settings, you've got sky replacement, we're going to leave it disabled season adjustment not as important the sky color we're going to leave disabled outdoor staging we're going to actually put add luxury items or add or update patty furniture we're going to choose add luxury items we're going to hit that as our, as our default setting should we have any exterior photos and we can make the grass green and we can remove the, the vehicles in the driveway here's what's most important interior settings i want to go with neutral i just prefer it over warm we're going to leave the tv monitors disabled Actually, let's go blackout. Should there actually be TVs in the staging photos I produce, I want to have those TV and monitors blacked, blacked out. I'm going to go with minimal staging. This luxury is really for only certain homes I might want to go and take it to that level. Minimal staging is pretty safe. Fireplace is muted. Window pooling is really only when you're doing HDR. We're going to leave it off as is interior. Light. So those are your preferences. Very important. We're going to show you exactly why here. To get your virtual staging done really quickly and easy, you can actually do them all at once. I've got six photos here that I'm going to edit at one time. I'm going to show you some tricks and things to, to think about when you're doing this. Your settings are saved. We're going to go to the editor. We're going to drop the six photos in here all at one time. You can see them all showing up here. We're going to upload those files. You see the photos here, they're uploaded to the system. If we leave them on auto, which it's automatically on, it's gonna use the settings in your default settings. You do have the ability in here to go into manual, and we're gonna do that for this picture here. Why? If you take a look at these photos, this is clearly a kitchen. This is clearly a big great room, living room area. This is pretty much the kitchen as well, because you can kind of tell from the makeup with a door here. And these are primary bedrooms for the most part. This, however, could confuse AI of any kind. I want to point this out. I want to show you two things. When you go into manual, you can both change specific settings in your automatic settings, or you can actually go into custom, which we're going to do here because this room could be a bedroom, could be an office. It doesn't even look like a dining room, but we want it to be a dining room. We want to give it specific custom prompting here. Very important. We're going to very simply say, add a dining room table and four chairs with a modern look, or let's say modern style. That's the prompt we're gonna give it. Very simple to do, but very direct. So we've got the other one still set to auto and this one to manual. You wanna kinda of take a peek at that because there's a good chance this could give back to you as a living room or a bedroom. And we don't want that, we wanna save your credit. So that's why I wanna kinda of point that out right now. We're gonna go ahead and hit continue and let this go. And it's gonna show you how many credits you're using. It's gonna take you from 324 to 312. I've got six pictures, two credits each, $2 a picture, no subscriptions, you really can't beat that. When it's going through the edits, you'll see this complete indication on these five images and generating edit, which means it's finishing that last edit. 
So when all six are complete, and by the way, that took about five to seven minutes, just about a minute, not much more than a minute each one, it's going to bring you back to the dashboard like this. And when you click one dashboard, it'll bring you to your library of all your pictures. Let's see how it did on these six pictures that I sent in. There's your breakfast nook in the kitchen. Looks great. And there's the prompting that we did to make sure this became a dining room. Looks awesome. This is the only thing you really have to be aware of when you're putting in images for real estate that could be any kind of a room. And this is how simple it, it, it can be. Now for the side note, if you didn't do that, you can go in here and regenerate an image and you can basically put in an instruction and it'll confirm that prompt. The instruction could be make this a dining room with chairs. So that is an option. It will charge you one credit to do it a second time. But if you just know that one thing, if the room doesn't look like it's an obvious type of room, you want to keep that in mind. Here's the living area. I love how it put in the TV off to the right, a little dining room added in the back. You can't really beat that. Here's the kitchen area. And then you've got two renditions, two different angles of the primary bedroom. I really like how this this is. Now, when you go back and you view all these at one time, you can download them all right here. It's going to give you both PNG and JPEG. Some people like PNGs for web use and such. JPEGs certainly for the MLS and for other, other means. But here it is showing you the downloading portion, which gives you those two folders wherever your computer assigns downloads to go. In closing, this is a really neat, quick way, inexpensive, when the time comes where your client might ask you to do virtual staging. I personally allow clients to use this app for cheaper, less money. They actually sometimes ask me to do it for them for a little bit more. It's up to you how you want to build this in your system. For starters, there's a link in the description below. Try out GoEdit. Anyone who signs up for an account gets four credits or two free images. On top of that, this link that you use will give you 10% off for the next 90 days with any credits that you purchase in addition to that. Remember, each image, $2. You can't beat it. Thanks for watching.